Now, one thing we haven't talked about yet is what if we have a horizontal or a vertical line? How would we describe its direction? Now, what do I mean by a horizontal line? A horizontal line just goes left and right. It doesn't go up and down at all. It makes perfect sense to ask the slope question. If I go one unit to the right, how far up do I have to go in order to stay on this line? Okay, well, here's a point. I go one unit to the right. How far up do I have to go? Not at all. How far up do I have to go? Zero units. When I have a horizontal line, the slope is zero. How far do I have to go up to stay on this line? I don't have to go up or down at all. This line only goes left and right. So that's the simpler question. What if I have a vertical line? Again, what does it mean to have a vertical line? A vertical line only goes up and down. It doesn't go left or right at all. Let's think about what happens if I ask the slope question about this line. If I go one unit to the right, how far up do I have to go in order to stay on this line? Wait. If I start to go up, notice these are parallel. No matter how far up I go, I'm never going to get back to this line. Same way with down. Right? I can't go up and get to the line. I can't go down and get to the line. I can't do it. What does that mean for the slope? It means for this line, the slope question does not have an answer. When we have a question in math that does not have an answer, we say that whatever that question was trying to describe is undefined. That doesn't mean that the slope of a vertical line is equal to some number called undefined. No, a vertical line just does not have a slope. Later on, we'll meet other questions that we can ask in order to find out the slope. And none of those are going to have answers for vertical lines either. The question that the slope answers does not have an answer for a vertical line. So the, a vertical line does not have a slope. The slope is undefined.